Introduce yourself. Hello guys, I'm Brittany Lewis. I'm going today to get my big chop. <laughs> Yay. I was transitioning and um, I'm going to get all my um, perm hair cut off How? all the way to my natural hair. How long have you been tra transitioning? For three months now, it's been three months. And I like it, I like, oh, I was inspired by my friends. We kind of got this little group going on, Natural Girls, I guess. And um, I've been telling them I would not cut my hair. And I felt like I was, I was gonna be ugly. Like I still feel like I might be ugly, but now I'm very confident in myself that the way, the way God made me is how I'ma look. So anybody have a problem with it is really, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> they didn't make me. But yeah, so I'm very excited. All my friends are excited. My family, they wasn't all of that supportive because my, my mom, my sister, it was all like, whenever you're ready, you can go get a perm. And <laughs> Kevo told me my hair was nappy and I need to get it done. So I kind of, I got support from my friends. And my cousin, she's natural, so she's been supportive too. And you know, it was kind of, it was kind of days where I was like, you know, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it because I, I'm afraid that I will look ugly or I wouldn't be satisfied with the way I'm naturally supposed to look. So, I just been praying about it. Got a lot of support from my friends. And I'm ready. <laughs> Good to know. Yeah. I'm going to a barbershop and a guy's going to cut my hair, not a lady. I trust him. He know what he's doing. You know, it's not nothing wrong with going to a barbershop. And I know the guy, too, so. He was a little afraid. He was like, oh, you know, I don't really know about the natural <laughs> cut. I was like, it's okay. He's just cutting off my relaxed hair. Nothing should go wrong with that. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um. So, what did you do to your hair before? Like, like, what, like right now? Yeah, what's going on okay. under the shark cap? Um, I can show you real quick. It's a little damp. It's a little damp because I felt like it might be easier for him to feel where my natural hair is because right now I can feel it. And, you know, he could just get the scissors, cut it off. Um, what I did was I um, washed my hair with shampoo. And I can't remember the name of the brand, but it's very good. It's safe for natural hair. And so, um, I shampooed, which I deep conditioned today, so, you know, I can get, like, a soft feel or whatever, I don't know. But, I'm not all that educated on going natural. I am still in the process of learning. I love the way that I can find out how to make my own products. That's very fascinating with, to me. Um, I actually, last week, I made my own deep conditioner. I can't remember the products, but it it worked very well. My hair turned out very soft, and if I can find out more things to do with my hair, take better care of my hair to make it better, like healthier, I'm down. My hair is art is breaking off. You know, I had um, um, I kept on. I wasn't the type that always get a perm, but you know, I, it didn't make any sense to keep doing something to my hair whenever it was telling me no like it's a it's a way that it's it's where it wants to be in a, in a natural state so why not <laughs> you'll be seeing me next time getting my hair cut get all my relaxed hair cut wish me luck <laughs>
Even in high school? Huh? Okay, even in high school? Mm-hmm. No turning back. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. I have no choice now. <laughs> no choice. What do you think your favorite thing is going to be about being natural? Making my own product. <laughs> and I remember my perm hair, every morning I had to fly down my hair. And this is a lot of the times I never wore a heat protectant. So I have put in. And it kind of damaged my hair. Damaged Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Flat iron it every day. I think the best thing about me going natural is I'm going to have healthy hair. I know I'm going to have healthy hair because I'm going to take better care of it. How do you think everyone's going to react? First of all, I ain't even told my boyfriend, so he going to flip out. <laughs> he going to laugh at first, probably. It's okay. I'm prepared for the worst. My mom doesn't know, so she going to just walk away, probably. Shaking her head. <laughs> and I'm so getting break. Um, some, but I've been buying a lot. I'm mm -hmm. a, definitely a product junkie. Product junkie? <laughs> I think it's just an excuse for me yeah. to start shopping more. Yeah. But at least I'm saving money, not getting a perm. Yeah. So. I'm doing some calculations tonight on how, how much it costs to go to a salon. I know I'm saving money. Yeah. Especially oh, yeah. If we're in Tallahassee, a perm is like $70. Mm -hmm. And that's every six weeks. Yep. And then I can't do my hair whatsoever yeah. when it was perm. So I had to go to the salon every two weeks, and that's like $50 right mm -hmm. there. So, that's, I haven't spent $50, yeah, so I have Okay, I haven't spent <laughs> 50 plus 70 on products yet, but I've bought some oils and some, some products. How does it look so far? It looks good. Oh. Last night I've been picturing myself, like, with all my perm hair cut off, like, how am I going to look? Yeah. I've been trying to picture myself, but I can't, yeah. but at least I'm wearing my hair shorter. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I could just walk around flat iron my hair 24-7 mm -hmm. and then automatically one day just chop it off and not have heat damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, I did not flat iron my hair for a whole week for me transitioning and everything. Um, my friends told me it was not good to put any kind of heat to my hair because I'm transitioning and it could cause breakage. And I really don't want that. So. Yeah, it can change your curls. So yeah. I'm really trying yeah. to stay away from heat. Yeah. It's hard, but I just got to plan my life yeah. a little differently. <laughs> yeah. Well, I still feel the same. Yeah. But a little better. <laughs> <laughs> I just know it's not going to look the same. It's going to look better, though. <laughs> Natural hair definitely brings attention to your face. Mm hmm Well, your face is pretty, so you're good. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Just to get off the like some I of the like straight ends. Hey, yeah. Have a little bit on. <laughs> you like it? No. Oh. <laughs> you don't think? You don't think she's still beautiful? Okay, actually, I don't care. <laughs> That's my little cousin. He got problems. <laughs>
do. I like it. I have never seen my hair like this before. It feels soft. I know you're going to be happy just to jump in the shower and get your hair wet. That's what I'm looking for I'm for the most. I'm ready. <laughs> Long nights of praying. <laughs> Give me strength, Lord. <laughs> It'll pay it off. He gave me some strength. I do recommend this. I can't, I can't, I don't know. I don't know how it's going to look. <laughs> With my permed hair and natural hair all together. And your eyebrows are done. Yes. Yeah. Check, earrings. Check. 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 <laughs> Lip gloss, check. Check. <laughs> Big smile. Check. <laughs> Confidence, check. Yeah. <laughs> so, Jay, do you recommend all African American women stay their natural? Stay, stay in a natural state instead of trying to adjust. With all that weed and stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know I do. <laughs> I'm glad you think like that. A lot of men don't like the whole natural look. They think it's nappy. All the other names they call it. <laughs>
say he one of the ones you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> he like weed. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not your type of girl then. Why you like weed, man? Hmm? Why'd you keep saying that, man? <laughs> I guess that's what they say. They're playing basketball. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you said no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that girl. <laughs> she do like it, man. Aww. If I didn't, I wouldn't have no choice. <laughs> yeah. You suck. Are oh, you gonna be stuck? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think this is the boldest thing you've ever done? Uh, Some of me? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have my hair cut no, before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have my hair cut before. But, I mean, this is the first time I've ever been natural. So, I mean... I can't even say that. Yeah, in a long time. I was born natural, so, but I can't remember what that was. I had no choice. When did you get your first perm? What? I was a little girl. About too five. long ago to remember. Probably about five. Yeah. Wow. Creamy crack. Yeah. That's what they call it, creamy crack. They messed you up, huh? Yep, they did. Be right. Yep, Michelle and I will be now. The good thing about hair is that it'll never stop growing until you get old, I guess. <laughs> <laughs>
About big chopping, you should um, or transitioning. You should tra- we, while you're transi- transitioning, you should at least think about it first. Mm-hmm. Because I can't say it's not an easy it's not an easy process. But once you're confident enough, or you know you have to, or and you know, I think you should do it. I really do recommend people doing the big chop because I was watching so many YouTube videos and was like I am not for the big chop like there's no reason for me to big chop and I'm not saying that it's not possible that you can transition with your perm hair um and have a natural hair two textures in your hair but for me it was hard so I felt like I was confident enough and I was ready 